over by the Flash Rasmus back in Fermi Paradox. I think we get to the business end of this. I don't think we've got long left. Oh, we do need to get some more synth though. Some more synthesis because we're starting to run a bit short. Do 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 Vex is made your root quadrant for some influence. Great. Uh, let's go down here. What well, might awaken when we play with the fabric of space time? That's a bit deep and meaningful. Dorleth. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's go over here. Extinct plant biomass dogma. Transform fuel reserves. We've reached a light speed age. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, still a way to go. Uh, advancement will always. Uh, arms race to light speed. Uh, let's go with that one. Uh, although I really should have gone for the synth, though, really. That would have probably been the wiser option, but hey ho. Light space technology gives me the ability to harvest resources from gas giants to Tarseti. Dorleth quadrants. Paradigm shift in Rigel. The rare psychological side effects begin to occur among those who travel through this, but yeah, I've had this one before. Uh, they claim to have heard voices. Oh, how oh, have we though? They claim to have heard voices from other dimensions, whispers from the vast and noble, be from vast and noble beings. They are there are many things, but no one knows the intention of these other world creatures or they, if they exist at all. Who? Very, very, very deep. Uh Cultural, we can't afford that. That, uh, I'm gonna go with that one. <coughs> Many are afflicted to speak of, uh, of eldritch beings that seek the destruction of all life. The Dorleth construct military space stations and bio bomb traps to prepare for these otherworldly. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, well, because we're on the final tech, aren't we? We're on the final tech. Which doesn't seem to be going at all there. Okay. Dorleth, more than the death of a great antimatter specialist. All that, and nothing appears to be happening on that. Right. Coordinator, okay. That doesn't, that doesn't seem to be moving at all. I wonder why. Destination reached, my fleet expansion. The Maru... The Maru fleet expansion made contact with the solar nomad root spheres. After numerous years of travel, the Maru expansion fleet has finally arrived at its destination, but the Ross system is inhabited by the solar nomad root spheres. What is going to happen? Uh, hopefully nothing. Hopefully they'll move on somewhere else. <coughs> Exchange. I'm very going to try, uh, and try to direct communicate with the nomad... Uh, Observe Southern Man from a safe distance. Yeah, let's do that because they did. They did try and invade him in the past. See, that's that's moving. Oh great! The the Ross system is under attack by the Maru expansion fleet. The commanders of the the Maru expansion fleet decide after long observation they should try and conquer the Ross system, even if they have to expel or destroy the native Solar Nomads. Okay. That's ever so slightly frustratingly annoying. Uh, see, they're on the banishment, regular invasion, maximal attack. Uh, the expansion of it everything to bring down the solar nomad reach spheres. 31.4 billion casualties. The Mara expansion fleet is destroyed, regular invasion. We're, we're losing the expansion fleet, basically. Do not stand a chance against the invaders in town population allowed to flee in a refugee fleet. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Everything... Yeah, I'm going to go with that one, because I want the points. <clears throat> oh, uh, okay. I suppose it's a matter of getting their own back on. Because these, these were the, quite the ones that invaded in the first time, man. Okay. There's been a lot of invasions in this game. A lot of death. At least we've got some synth back anyway. Don't prevent from this lot. Power in Vex. About to, the about to root quadrants develop small military spacecraft that are capable of faster than light micro jumps. This capability makes these fighter ships incredibly versatile and agile, and the presence of the battle may change warfare forever. <coughs> uh, 
uh, prevention. Uh, absolute power. What could possibly go wrong? I'm worried about only got one civilization is actually doing anything about or that's, or that's I'm about to say not doing anything about the final technology. I suspect it could take a while to pump through to get this transfer technology going. Okay, so every opportunity we get to push it up a little bit, we need to do it. Let's jump up a level. <coughs> Good decrease. So we're once again we're once again back to two Maru communities. <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that two sets of Maru I've killed off now? Yeah, as it's been said in the comments before, the Maru have had it rough. I've had it particularly rough. Ooh! Finally, Gleese. We've not had a development evolution event for a while. I didn't think you'd get one this late on as well. <coughs> That's interesting. Gleese, see. What have we got a choice of it? Another civilization. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. So we've got... Okay. So we get... The prun, I've had the prun before. The row or the core. Uh, always hungry, merciless, his nightmarish avian creatures rule the sky. The row, we've had the row before as well. Let's go with this one. If rest, uh, Gleese is a red star, dwarf star, orbited by a desert planet Gleese and various rocky planets. Yeah. Iron oxide, the atmosphere gives the rocky desert of the Gleese a distinct red disc. All animals on the planet make additional water as well. Yeah, I've got this one. On a balanced species, we get less of everything and more people. What could possibly go wrong? Apart from our research, we, 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 our resources getting tanked. The course of, I've not seen, I've not this one, but we don't want more people. More than the death of beloved elder. Off will cult quadrants. Knowledge in Gehenna. The Marvin learned to use Marco Black Holes to send messages through subspace. The technique works with distances up to about 1,000 kilometers using relays. It is possible to instantly communicate with anyone in the Gehenna system. Interesting. <coughs> Civilization pillar. That'll do. Cause I want to push the that We want to push the science. That's, that's kind of spammed up a little bit. I machine we've got to get. Everybody's got to get 50%. Uh, sorry, everybody's got to complete the five technology to actually win the game. Let's push it up again, that's still going. And we'll push it again. Observation from the Mario colonists share new insights about the Gahina system. Establish a new awful quadrant. Let's push it science again. I should really keep an eye on the resources though. So to, uh, final technology. Mario quadrants, final technology in Gahina. The awful quadrants of the game system on the verge of op opening artificial wormholes, wormholes that could bridge disparate points of space time continue. The Maori find nearby uh, collapsars collapse and construct giant wormhole st gate structures, but they need other superluminal civilizations to notice and do the same with collapsed stars. And right, okay. Okay, interesting. So we 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 need so we need other technology portal gateway. It's surrounded by wormholes, the power of collection of all known civilizations. Good collapse. Okay. Portal ga galaxy. We'll go with the portal galaxy, shall we? <clears throat> Our story ends here. Hypernova atrocity. Okay. As Amaru, as soon as Amaru offered quadrants to open the wormhole gates, fear, fear overcame them and they did not. They'd, they did the unthinkable. Remotely controlled starships filled with antimatter bombs were sent through the portals of detonators reversing through collapsars. This turned stars into hypernovas near or near all inhabited systems by their own, but their own, annihilating all life outside of Gehenna galaxy, making the Maru the coordinators of Gehenna Six alone rulers of a burning galaxy. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a bugger. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought, oh no. Okay. Well, that but that's kind of came to a very abrupt ending. Yeah, typical. The, the Mar have had it rough, but then the Samara is not killing us all. Let's just nip him back. Let's just nip back and have a look at something. And I wonder if it's going to give me a save game or. We've got to continue game. 
Good quadrant. So let's have a look. I, wanted, I just want to check something. Because I have to wonder as to why. As to why. I think I've got. I think I know why it did that. I think I know why it did it. Let's wait for load up. It might take a while. I've got a suspicion I know why I did that. It's one of the things I ignore. Yeah, so. I was anticipating uh, this particular episode to be, be a bit longer than 10 minutes. Yeah, I was anticipating it to be ever slightly longer than that. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I was kind of anticipating getting a good half an hour out of this. Okay. I do suspect I know why they did that. In hindsight, hindsight's all the thing. I really, really should have thought that through. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, that's kind of, so that's two of the three, so two of the three runs we've had have ended catastrophically. I think it's this ethical, I think it's this uh, this one down here, either one of these two, that the neg I think the neg the, these negative scores have uh, had something to do with it, that they've not been enlightened enough. To do any to do anything about it, and I think that's what's cool. I think it's maybe maybe on these two scores here, dice rolling against these two scores. These two scores here have caused them to go and wipe everybody out. Oh, I'm gutted about that. Oh, okay. Let's go step out of that a second. So, yeah. What do you think of that then? Let me. Yeah, I'm gutted about that. I was hoping for a better ending than that. It's interesting, but it it. Yeah, it's come out nowhere. I should do. I should have been a bit more careful. We finally got a new species on Glitch. So you can get species in late game. You can get species in late game. It would be interesting how what would have happened if any of these had have gone over there. What options you'd have had. But the Mar again, it's this plan over here has been fine. This lot have kind of been kind of just uh, dual of the about to be okay. But the problem has been across here with the quasi the quasis quasi quasis whatever they were the solar nomad spheres. And the Mar Maru, the fact they go to war with it, they invaded them, they invaded them back, they lost two, they lost two entire fleets, expedition, whatever they call them, they lost one. It's just this central belt here's caused all the problems. Yes, yeah, so that's out of the three ones we've had, we've had two bad endings and one good ending. But it's been fascinating the fact that you get this good ending, the bad endings. I still didn't get my, I still didn't get a species, a new species on a planet where there was a species gone extinct, which I was hoping to get in Sol, in Earth. I was hoping to get one there, but we didn't. So it would have been, so I still not seen that. I, I, I enjoy this game. It's simple to play. It's easy to play. It's easy to understand. It's enjoyable. I'd like the fact we get more stories come along, the more species coming along. It's changing all the time. So uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So kind of, I wasn't anticipating this going on for so long. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. And as ever, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.